Today we're going to demonstrate how to install two layers of quarter inch USG Fiberock underlayment over a sound mat on top of three quarter inch USG Structocrete brand structural panels, creating an even and smooth substrate surface for floor covering. First, be sure you have the proper tools on hand. For this install, we recommend the items listed here. Clean your work surface to remove dust and debris. And then lay down your sound mat over the Structocrete panels. Begin laying panels at one corner. To start, you'll want to make sure that any cut edges of the USG Fiberock underlayment base layer are against the wall. Only clean factory edges of the panel should be joined. Maintain a quarter inch space between panels and perimeter walls. Be sure to stagger joints to a minimum of 12 inches so that four panel corners never meet. Offset end and edge joints of panels a minimum of 12 inches from subfloor panel joints. Join panel edges and ends lightly together. A maximum of 1 seconds inch gap is allowed. Now it's time to add the second layer of Fiberock underlayment. Be sure to bond the base and surface layer of the Fiberock underlayment together with an adhesive appropriate for use with bonding floor assembly materials. USG recommends using a modified thin set mortar as we're doing in this example. Note that the Fiberock underlayment is intended to float on the sound mat. Instead of laying down mortar over the entire floor surface, you may find it easiest to lay down the mortar in panels one at a time. That way you can continue to walk and kneel on the floor as you lay down panels without disrupting mortar during the curing process. The panels should be flat throughout the entire flooring area without joints lifting. Use staples to hold the panel layers together during the mortar drying period. Begin fastening where three panels intersect. Use an appropriate amount of staples and spacing to hold the panels firmly in place until the adhesive dries. Panels must be kept firmly in place during the curing period to ensure the surface of the panels are true, level, and square for the application of the finished materials, as instructed by the finished flooring manufacturer. Be sure to set tool pressure to drive fasteners flush or slightly below the underlayment surface. To prevent fastener heads from telegraphing through resilient floor covering, do not countersink more than 1 16th inches below the surface. Fastener length should be approximately equal to the thickness of the underlayment panels. Do not allow fasteners to penetrate the sound mat or subfloor. How joints are treated is dependent on the type of flooring material that you'll be installing. If installing resilient or engineered flooring, feathering joint compound is all you need to minimize joint telegraphing. When installing ceramic flooring, underlayment joints on the face ply are treated with tile setting adhesive such as latex fortified mortar or type 1 mastic embedded in an alkali resistant mesh tape like USG Duroc brand tile backer tape. Carefully fill any surface imperfections and joints wider than 1 seconds inch with only enough material to infill the void. Embed alkali resistant joint tape in tile setting adhesive then strike flush. Allow the compound to dry completely then lightly sand or scrape, taking care not to scuff the panel surface. Before application of the floor covering, use a flat blade to scrape away any excess material and remove dust, dirt, and debris from the underlayment surface. And that's it. You've just installed two layers of USG Fiberock underlayment over a sound mat on top of USG Structocrete panels.